king tides are impacting the coastline this week. ABC 10 meteorologist Carly Gomez explains how it may give us a better look at how the coastline could be impacted by climate change in the years ahead. King tides, they happen twice a year around the solstice. Just like high tides, king tides are affected by gravitational pull. But these king tides are much bigger as the Earth, Moon and Sun are all aligned. They're raising the sea level about one to two feet higher. So that makes them very helpful for planning for future sea level rise. That's because that's the amount of sea level rise that we will see over the next few decades. Annie Kohut Frankel works for the California Coastal Commission's King Tide Project. Their goal is to protect California's coastline for future generations. The rising sea level is already being seen in many areas across the globe like India, China, Vietnam, and even closer to home, Miami. The cause? Climate change. And that increase in temperature melts the land ice, uh, which puts more water into the ocean. It also uh, warms the ocean, so warm water takes up more space. U.S. governmental studies on climate change show that the global sea level rise has set a new record of 3.6 inches above 1993's levels. The United Nations is taking a huge stance on acting now. It's time to stop burning our planet and start investing in the abundant renewable energy all around us. For California's coastline, there's a lot of concern. Going to um, have, a, have a detrimental effect on pollution that has been underground, that it may push it up closer to, um, to where we all live and work and play.